Hi everybody. I'm Nate from Willie's American Guitars. I'm here to talk about the J45. So this is a new reissue J45. Gibson made this kind of to compete with Martin's D18. They're both mahogany back and sides and a Sitka spruce top. Um, they both have a long history and older J45s will get a lot more money, older Martins will get a lot more money than their contemporaries, but this is a well-made contemporary J45. So Sitka spruce top, it's all solid woods, it has the mahogany back and sides, and um, Honduran mahogany, and a real lacquer. Now, they use plasticizers in this lacquer, and the way they treat the wood is to kind of coat the wood uh, and then put lacquer over it. However, um, that keeps the wood from sinking and keeps it from checking. And this is a great sounding guitar, a nice round neck. really nice guitar. This sells for about $2,500. It's used and comes in a nice case. This is, however, a 1956 Gibson J45. And this is something on... These guitars will sometimes come with aged woods. On the models above this, they'll give you the baked woods to replicate the sound. However, for these older ones, they weren't baked they were aged and air dried. Some of these older guitars had 10 to 20 year old wood that sat out near the wood mill in the back and cured for that long before they put it on the guitar and now this guitar is what? 65 years old? Yeah, over. This is the first year they put the adjustable bridge. This particular adjustable bridge is a little skinnier than the ones that come out later that have that big wooden bridge or have that ceramic bridge in it. But these 50s ones have this famous really rounded neck. You do have had Honduran mahogany and again, it's all about the wood, baby, because this Honduran mahogany, you can see the aged lacquer is all yellowed here. Um, and this is truly aged wood, probably close to 75, 80 years old aged. Bake all you like. There is nothing like the sound of old wood. just rumbles. You couldn't replicate this for the money this is being offered. If you went to Gibson and said, I want old wood that's 65 years old. I want a Brazilian rosewood board. Take off that old green Indian rosewood board. I want a Brazilian rosewood bridge. And I want it to be finished in a lacquer that has no plasticizers in it. This guitar. This guitar. <laughs> that age and playing in that's just fantastic. They've always gone up in value. When I opened this store 32 years ago, these would could be had for 450 to 650 depending on how old this was. This is a 56. The pre-war ones get extremely more money. This is offered at $6,500, which is probably about $2,000 less than what you'd pay for a new one made yesterday with the same materials. So, here, I'm going to play this one more time. Hang on, it's still sustaining. Wait. Hang on. Ah, I can't wait anymore. This is a great buy 
if you, for $2,500. This guitar, though, is an investment grade guitar. A bit more. There you go. That's all for now. Two J45 side by side. One 1956 J45. It's had a top crack repaired by us, a seam crack repaired by us. The braces are all tacked down. We, by the way, always send our vintage guitars through the shop. Always, always, always. Unless we put in our copy on the website that we left it alone or didn't do this or didn't do that. Rest assured, when we sell you an old guitar, it's been through the shop. Does that mean it won't ever need any work again? No, it doesn't. Not even the new guitars can really guarantee it'll never need work again. But all the stuff that you'd be worried about has been done on a guitar like this. Call us. Make an appointment. We'll let you in this beautiful room. Spend a half an hour with both of these if you like, or any other guitars. We have been getting in guitars lately, so come in. Make an appointment.